All right, welcome back to my vlog. This is my training vlog of week three, uh, and this is when I visited Japan. Um, before I really get into details about my lifts, I kind of wanted to share a little bit about the gym that I'm currently training at here. When I, uh, during my visit, um, the gym that I was able to drop in was Agito Weightlifting. Um, the, the owner um, is actually the owner of Black Ship in uh, Tokyo as well. Um, this gym in particular, it's just for weightlifting uh, versus Black Ship is a CrossFit slash weightlifting gym. But this is the gym that um, actually has open gym availability. So this day I was actually able to come in and do a class uh, and learned a lot from one of the instructor there. Um, but then I was able to stay in and do a little bit of weightlifting um, by kind of programming that day too. So um, super cool. Um, the location is really close to Tokyo. So if you're visiting Tokyo, I highly recommend dropping in. Um, it's actually a very easy gym to get to. Um, you hop on the train, you stop at Turami Station, and it's like a five minute walk. Um, so highly recommend it. Amazing uh, coaching staff, amazing facility. Um, I don't want to give too much details of the equipment um, and what the gym layout looks like because that was actually one of the best part about dropping into this gym is seeing um, what the, the owner did to the space itself. So, um, all right, so let's get into training. Um, so this day I had, um, had, a, had a hard training day um, to be realistic. Um, we've been walking around Japan for a long time. Um, this was a couple days after I landed. Legs were super heavy. Um, I think we walked like six to nine miles every day. Um, so you'll see in my top sets here, my legs are just shot. Um, but wanted to kind of document this training for myself. Um, so what's, what, what I learned from honestly this experience itself um, and kind of my thought process in my training that I was thinking about. So this is week three of my program, but also week three of the frog stance. Um, we're able to hit what you saw earlier was um, 80 kilos um, pretty comfortably. Um, and then we got up to 100 kilos. Um, oh, excuse me, 90 kilos and we got up to 100 kilos for four. And then um, I was supposed to go from 100 kilos to 110, uh, but I did two sets at 105, did two for two, and I, I missed it there. I did two for two uh, just to kind of save some legs. And then um, as you see here, this was my first set of four during my top set of 110. Um, I wanted to leave the misses in there. Uh, honestly, like I said before, this is a documentary for myself. Um, and it's, it's really interesting to see uh, how my training and my mindset has been during um, my snatches. Typically, I would miss on the first um, set of, of fours or threes, and then uh, I start to kind of dial my technique in, um, and uh, the second and third and the fourth set tend to be a lot better. Um, you'll see here, this is my second set. Um, I believe I make all of these. Um, the third set, I, I think I miss one, and then the fourth set I make all again. Um, but you can see the legs just look super tired. But what I've noticed in the frog stance is I'm still able to keep an upright torso. Um, even with tired legs, I, I, I feel like I'm getting a lot more legs than I did during my traditional uh, style lifting. So for anyone out there that's curious of why the frog stance is something that I've um, transitioned my technique to. One, um, it's primarily for that reason is to literally get more leg drive, um, get a vertical extension. Um, I am sacrificing having to move my feet more. However, um, I feel like that's the compromise that I'm willing to take um, to keep the proper position and more leg drive. Um, another added bonus too is um, I'm getting a lot less um, lower back pain. Um, when I'm doing either panda pulls, snatch deadlifts, um, 
clean deadlifts, clean pulls. Um, I'm able to actually push higher percentage without prop, without um, defaulting to a belt, um, which is like honestly a really good thing, um, which makes me transition when I'm using the belt a lot easier during my lifts. Um, so I believe this is my third set here. Um, I, I believe, yeah, I think I make this one and then I think I missed the last rep here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know I'm also taking a lot slower time in between sets uh, or in between reps. Oh, I actually made it. Okay, cool. Um, so, yes. Uh, oh, this is the one I missed. I'm sorry. Um, I, you can see here my legs are just tired. I'm just not able to get full extension, and I just drop it forward. Um, but I, I don't miss from here on out, so which is cool. Um, yeah, so I know... I am going a little bit slower in, in between reps. Um, that's actually intentional. Um, with the frog stance, I'm just trying to get comfortable getting my foot position correct um, every time. Um, when I rush through my, my reps, I start to notice like my right foot a little bit crooked or my left foot a little bit crooked or I'm not um, lined up perfectly in the middle of the bar. Um, also, I'm a huge fan of making sure the, the actual lift looks good. Um, yes, I'm also trying to focus on improving my, my, um, dura my duration in between lifts. Um, today actually was the week four, day one, um, and I actually did four sets of four at 110 with a lot faster tempo. Um, but again, the intention is to make sure that every rep looks good and feels good like it is a competition. So, um, cool. So that's it with the snatches. Um, with the cleans, um, I kind of only recorded my top sets here um, just due to time of this video. Um, I do, I believe, two sets here at 130, um, and then I do a set at 140. Um, I'm actually super happy with how the cleans went this week. Uh, or that week, um, again, like I said, due to travel, due to long the for, long 14 uh, hour flight, um, didn't have the legs during the snatches, but I actually felt a lot better during the cleans. Um, something you see here, um, yes, I am doing the frog scent during the clean. Um, I'm still playing around with my foot position. Um, something that I noticed is during the frog scents, during the clean, my knees hit my elbows as I'm extending because the knees are flaring out. So I've been kind of playing around with the frog position. Um, today I actually widened my stance just a hair. It's still a lot closer together, um, but I'm able to actually feel like I'm moving my knees better and the bar path a lot cleaner. So you'll see that video coming up um, later next week. Um, so yeah. So that's one of the reasons there. Um, and then I'm also focusing on this week intentionally being um, holding my position longer until the contact point. Um, and then you can see here on the 140, one of the things that I do that I've been working on is um, when it gets heavy, I start to actually pull my right there where I'm pulling my shoulders back, trying to fling the bar up rather than extending upwards. Um, so one of the things I'm gonna add this week coming up are blocks to really focus on um, extension rather than um, driving the bar back. So stay tuned, I'm gonna let the video play here. Um, sorry, my week two video didn't get posted, but um, I'll be doing better th this week. So hope you enjoy.